All right, you bastards, this is some Belgian pepper, and today I'm gonna talk about something actually, one of the uh, top priorities for preppers. And I'm talking about any prepper, whether you're a starter, when you're, whether you're already done it for a few years, or when you, even when you're an expert. These are the things that you, 10 things you need to do. Uh, but before I'm going to talk about them, if you're interested in detective stories, there is a first book called Bloody Crosses. It's a detective stories and it's in the, there will be a link in the description. So if you're interested, take a look. Uh, all right. Um, the first thing that you as a prepper need to do, and I'm talking about EDC every day, and that is uh, what I call uh, the 10,000 kilometer uh, check. Uh, I don't know what it's called in English terms, but here, uh, for example, in Belgium, the we there is something we call a 10,000 kilometer checkup. That is mostly a sort of way to say a regular checkup to for the maintenance of your car after that uh, this many uh, for a big how do, how do you say this a big checkup for your car. So the same thing goes for your body. Uh, as a prepper, you should always be in order with everything with your body. Uh, almost physical way. What am I talking about? I'm talking about some things that you should not wait with uh, because some people are scared to go to the doctor or the dentist or they are they fear that they, that it will be a financial financial uh, burden uh, for something bigger that they have to pay but uh, when shit hit the fan or there is a disaster the last thing you want is a physical condition that's cannot be fixed uh, with the, without professional medical help. So I'm talking about if you have uh, uh, if you have some dental problems, get them fixed. I know in some countries it's uh, very expensive, but uh, it's something that I I was always uh, I caught myself uh, on this one because I always thought, well, I will I will do it next month. But that is not really good because uh, at one time uh, I felt something pushing against my teeth, but it was a uh, just a, a small infection, but for the same thing in a disaster scenario, it could have been something much worse. So, like, get your teeth in order, fill your cavities, get your wisdom teeth pulled. Uh, the same thing goes for other things on your body. If you have something uh, growing on inside of your body, like uh, like a boil that you think mm, might be uh, maybe it's cancer, or maybe it's something else as a cyst or whatever you call it. Uh, those are things that you should not wait uh, wait with it. Uh, I know some people that have waited so long for letting a checkup because they did not want to see the truth. They did not want to think that it is possible that they could have a tumor or a cancer or something else that is growing inside of them. So yeah, it's a something. It's like a mental self defense. But I also had uh, one time here uh, some sort of a boil beneath my skin my skin and the whole week that I was waiting for get my, for getting my uh, MRE scan I was in fear I was out on oh, no what if it's what if it's a tumor but it was nothing it was just some water beneath it but for the same thing some people will prolong it to uh, that it's even getting worse so get your medical checkups now before things get worse or you have to do something more drastic on a medical thing that will get more expensive all right, the second thing you need to do as a prepper is fitness. And I'm not talking about fitness like you have to do power training or you have to be able to run a marathon in uh, under two hours. I'm just talking about general fitness. Uh, how you can do that is just doing some everyday fitness is what I'm saying. So uh, like, a, like, how do you say this? Take the bike instead of the car once in a while. Uh, Instead of taking the elevator, take the stairs, uh, uh, put some more effort in doing something with manual labor instead of using machinery or electrical uh, appliances that will make it more easier. But yeah, all these small things is something that we uh, as humans uh, on our biology are grown to because we had to work all day long. Uh, we had to hunt uh, very long times to get a big game like, uh, like people who, uh, how do you say this? Uh, like we used to hunt by following an animal till it's exhausted, but that's why a human can go further than a horse. But a horse is in the short run faster, but a human can walk, outrun a horse in the long run. So that's, that's what our biology is. So I would say go to the gym, 
one or two times a week at least. Try to do more. Uh, try to take a walk. Go with a bike anymore. Even that small, even a small walk in your neighborhood could be so much beneficial to your health. So yeah, do these things and yeah, that's good for in the uh, when the shit hit the fan because when shit hit the fan, you want to be your body in a good condition that you will be able to do an evacuation to a a long bugot uh, location. So yeah, keep your fitness in order. I would say. The next thing is diet. Um, yeah. I don't did this yet again, and this will always be my standpoint. Keep everything in balance. When I say diet, I don't talk about uh, like those people who say you have to go vegan, you have to be a full vegetarian, you have to follow this uh, diet fat or this diet fat. Uh, because the truth is, we every person is genet genetically different, uh, and we need other things. Some people. You will need more. We need more calories for the same thing, and other people need less calories. Because, for example, I'm a fat bastard, and it's because uh, when I eat the same, I need to watch how much calories I take in because I use them very efficient. I can go a long time without food and still have the same energy levels, but I cannot overeat because from the moment I eat something that I like uh, a few times a week, for example, I. It goes direct to my to my stomach. It goes direct to my hips and my ass. So yeah, other people who uh, who eat who can eat who can eat and eat and stay and stay skinny, yeah, they have a faster metabolism and that's something that you, for example, that other persons are different. The same thing goes with vitamins. Some people uh, are very uh, have some nutrition uh, deficiency, but they have it for certain vitamins or minerals, but they think, oh, I will take a, a vitamin pill, and but then the problem is, what they're lacking is fill, but what they already had uh, fulfilled is now uh, exaggerated, and that could lead to pro health problems. So, yeah, sh uh, find out what kind of nutrients you're lacking, and try to specifically get those in order, and not just think, I just take one magical vitamin pill, and I will put everything, uh, I will put everything to maximum. That's also not good. So just see, listen to your body is what I'm trying to say. Listen to how your new mate, how you're reacting, because some people can eat Mexican food and directly have diarrhea the next morning. Other people can eat spicy food and it will not affect them. Other people can eat fish or are allergic to certain things. We all have different bodies and genetics and try to find out what your limits are or what you are lacking or what you are, are uh, were filled with. So that's what I'm talking about diet. Try to find out for yourself to keep yourself in balance. Eat healthy. Try to eat uh, not too much processed food. Eat uh, healthy meat. Uh, don't eat too much uh, uh, junk food. And try to eat less. And that is something very important in the West because uh, if, you are, uh, if you are adapted to that you need less food... That you don't have, that you don't get involved in an eating culture, that's more healthy for uh, several things of your body. So yeah, try to watch out for that. Uh, next thing is uh, bad habits and addictions. What am I talking about? Uh, I'm talking about habits and bad addictions that are bad for your body. And also, like the reason why I say habits is because a habit is something that is. Uh, Holding your back in a survival situation or shit in the fan. For example, people who smoke. Yeah, a person. If you if you ever had a met a person who had a nicotine flash, because they did not have their cigarette in the moment, it's very annoying and in a survival situation could be very dangerous. So quit uh, things that are that are making you habit or crave for something. I'm talking about uh, the tobacco, like cigarettes uh, and so. Uh, I'm vaping, also bad. Uh, alcohol, uh, sugar, caffeine, uh, drugs, whether they are uh, soft drugs or hard drugs. Uh, even things that are, are addictive, uh, like gaming, sex. Uh, yeah, yeah, I already said video games, I think. Uh, television. So those are all the things that you need to put uh, to use in balance. I don't, uh, like I said before, keep everything in balance. I don't say you need to stop, but try to keep yourself 
try to get the discipline to lower it to a point that you're not uh, that you're not addicted. How do you say this? That you're not uh, dependent upon it. So yeah, that's something that is actually one of the most difficult things to do as a human because yeah, you're not a rock and you will make mistakes and you will fall back to certain things in especially in times of stress and these things will be more harder to quit when shit hit a fan or there is a survival situation and it could be dangerous for you so i'm just saying keep everything in balance um all right next thing is discipline what am i talking about discipline it's uh why don't i use discipline with addiction and bad habits it's also part uh, about the bad habits, but I'm talking about discipline to do what is right. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, try to have, try to have to create some discipline to yourself to push yourself through hard times. Uh, if you need, if you need a, if you need to do a job that you don't like, or a cleaning or a house chore, something that you really don't like or hate. But it's but you need to do it. Try to push yourself through to do it and make it a habit of it. Don't try to pro procrastinate. I think is the word. Don't try to say like like I said before with the dental things like ah oh, I will do it next time. Try to do try to take action now. Try to not make yourself think I will do it next time. Find excuses. Do it now and you will reap the benefits later on. Is what I'm trying to say. And uh, yeah, that is also a very difficult thing for people to do. I myself have uh, have been victim to this on several fronts, and I'm to, uh, I'm trying to keep working on it. And that's already part the first step to this discipline: realizing realizing it and trying to take action. Uh, no excuses. I don't have excuses for the things that I lack in for the certain fields that I lack in discipline. For example, my garden. I have been, I have been try, trying to get into my garden more, but now I'm taking discipline. I forced myself to work in the garden better uh, than I did last year, and it's already showing results, and I'm happy with that. But I need to do this. I need to keep this mentality and discipline to to uh, better myself as a person, and also not as a only for yourself but also as an example to other people. Because, like I said before, you're not a rock. Sometimes you need some inspiration or you need some encouragement from other people. And if you have lack in discipline, how do you expect other people to do the same? So, yeah, that is something very important that you need to think about as a prepper. Uh, next thing is relax. Uh, that is something that... I, uh, that especially in the West, and I see a lot of people around me, they don't relax enough. Or, uh, better said, they relax in the wrong way. What do I mean by this? Some people, we have a busy life, especially here in the West. We need to be more efficient. We need to be so productive. We need to be, uh, how do you say this? FOMO, fear of missing out. We need to have hobbies. We need to have children. We need to have a love life. We need to have work. We need to have hobbies. We need to do this, that. Uh, we need to keep on with the news. All these things a human is not made for this kind of life. And whether you say I don't have problems with that, that's because you do. You are not. You are. How do you say this? You are distracting yourself with video games soaps or some other escapisms that will uh, try to distract you from this inner inner stress so what i want to say is just some just sometimes take a lazy day off uh, what do i mean by that just a day where you put off your phone that you don't go on the internet don't listen to the news don't feel pressured by a social life that you need to do this for this person or you need to visit this person just one time a week have a moment for yourself uh, i don't also i also uh, would like to uh, point out also with your partner give your partner a day off where they have can do their own thing give your children a moment where they can just fuck around with a stick in a yard and not be pressured to do something uh efficient or uh you know what i mean so 
yeah, just relax, go for a walk, just do something for yourself, a, ho a hobby or something, something that will disconnect you from the world for a moment that you can recharge. So um, the next thing is uh, a social life. Um, you need to have a social life. We humans are social creatures. If we are alone, we for a lot uh, alone for a long time, that could have detrimental mental and psychological problems. So what I'm would uh, say is, I know this will sound the contra contradictive of what I said before, but also maintain healthy relationships with your neighbor, with uh, with colleagues at work, friends, family. Uh, try to meet new people, people that you are meeting that you are meeting with in a sports club or some hobby club or whatever it is that you, that you like to do. Try to have a healthy social relationship with other people and you will also feel better and that is also healthy and helpful in a shit hit a, hit a fan situation. Because when shit hit a fan, you need to know on who you can count on and or who you can help or somebody that can, can help you with other things or know something that you don't know. So that's something that, in the back of your mind, you know, I need some some persons in my life. And yeah, try to go for it. Uh, another thing that I would say is be more connected with nature. Especially when you live in a city, in a city or urbanized uh, situation, I would say just like I said before, with the day off, the day for yourself, go into nature, uh, go for a walk in the park, Go into a forest, just go through the, uh, how do you say this, agricultural fields, go hiking, go camping, just a few days camping, hiking to feel more connected with nature because we humans, we are biology uh, adapted to be to feel best in nature. And if you're in a city or urbanized, urbanized situation where there is constant noise, constant social stress, constant concrete constant electronics or uh people we say uh like city hall or or uh police or the government say tell you what you what you can and cannot do just go into nature and power up yourself a little bit and that's helpful so uh next thing is uh haste uh i wanted to make a video about this subject to a part perhaps i will but it is uh, another part that you need to do every day, and that is don't haste. Uh, what do I mean by that? Sometimes you need to do things fast, but it is again part of this too efficient uh, Western lifestyle that you need to haste. You need to get up at this time. I need to, at, to be at work at this time, and I need to go earlier because there are traffic jams. Oh, and I need to, after work, I need to pick up the kids, or I need to go to the store. And then after, then I need to go home, wash myself, and go to going out with friends or with with families. You need to you in this uh, lifestyle. You need to haste, haste, haste. Everything needs to go fast, efficient, and that's not good for your body, your mind, and your uh, psychological uh, sanity. So sometimes when you know, there is a word uh, about this, uh, what was that word again? It was word of the year in Belgium, and it's called masturbation uh it's not the, the dirty word that you think but it's called masturbation because we always have the feeling i must do this i must do that even though it's a job or a, some, a chore that you need to do that is that has no no hurry and still you feel because of society and perhaps your lifestyle you feel i need to do this fast while you can do it just relax don't um it's because especially when you're in a car and there is somebody sli driving slower before you, which is usually me. Uh, you can make yourself feel stressful. You can call them people out. And that's not good for your mental health. So yet again, like say, don't haste. Don't hurry up. Take things slow. You only live once. And you live probably around 80 years on this planet. You have time enough. Just relax about it. Go to where you need to go. Talk to people on their way. If you're in on a public transport, try to look at the plants, try to look, try to admire the buildings, try to take everything in that is the 
to, that is this world, try to appreciate it, try to think of ways to solve certain problems while you're doing this. Because if you're in a hurry, you're only focused on that thing that you want to get to in a, so as quick as possible. But if you go to that same goal and you look around you, you can get new ideas, you can get uh, to learn new places, you can learn new people. That is what I'm trying to say with don't haste. Uh, and the last one, and this is actually the most important one, and that is a life goal and secondary life goals. What do I mean by this? Uh, the One of the most important things that you have to do as a person, human, as a prepper, survivalist, is have a life goal. Uh, this could be different for many people. Some people want to make a career. Some people want to have a family and put all their effort into that. Some people want to be the best at a certain sport. Some people want to do scientific discoveries. Some people want to learn to be the best in certain sports or skills. And yeah, that's very good. But here comes the... Uh, because if you're in a shitty defense situation or survival situation, that goal is something that will keep you keep you going through the flames. Something that you'll... It will give you motivation to go through through hell and back. So yeah, that's very important. But yet again, I say everything in balance. Also have secondary goals. And that is something that many people struggle because we are too focused on one thing. And that is the secondary goal is things that are less important to you, but you also want to do that are less important than your main goal. But if you are by some by some accident, not capable to do your life goal. Perhaps, uh, like I said before, if you want to have a family and you divorce, uh, when you have children and you lost one of the, of your children, if you are the best in a certain sport, you know, of the top sports, and you break your leg and you can never do that sport again. Those are things, now your main goal has been destroyed. And people who have lost their main goals in life, they tend to go depressed and be on a self-destructing path and they start to don't give a shit anymore and they wither down till something takes it on down or they take their own life. So here comes in the secondary goals. Try to find goals that are easy obtainable, that are obtainable, but you can, how do you say this? It's limit, it's, uh, it's never ending. What do I mean by that? There is no end goal with secondary goals. It's something that you can always do, whether in what situation you're you're at, but there is never an end goal. You can always keep up and you'll never meet the end. So it's like one of those, uh, how do you say this? One of those mobile games that never end, that they always uh, update or something. But you know what I mean. Uh, in my uh, for in my example is when I was very young I had one goal and that goal got destroyed almost years as a child I was dreaming of that reaching that goal and it was in my grasp and I did not attain to it and yeah perhaps I did not put in much uh, uh, I put much effort in it that's actually the thing I put all my effort into it and I failed and I knew I will not reach that eventually and that destroyed me mentally and it made me depressed uh severely depressed actually but yeah uh, that's the moment that i actually started to go full on prepping because this prepping was in a way my secondary goal because i was doing it while reaching for my main goal and yeah it's a goal that you never end like i said before this prepping i can keep on learning i can keep on going i have never an end goal i have never an end goal but i'm making i keep making progress and that's what's driving what is now my main goal uh, in a way so my main goal is also my secondary goal but it's something that is uh, nature is inherent to the nature of humans and i will never meet an end goal but i will keep progressing and that is what keeping me alive motivated to go through life even what even what life is throwing against me so i'm very thankful for that so yeah i hope this video has inspired you like subscribe all that good stuff and made you think about 
bettering yourself mentally, psychologically, and physically, and in a health wise. So yeah, keep on the good work. Keep yourself busy. Uh, live life. Relax. Don't hurry. Have a have a find love with uh, lo find love and friendship. All this stuff that is inherent to a human. Don't forget to be human is what I'm trying to say with all of this. So yeah, I've been blundering around enough. So thank you for watching and see you next video. Cheers.